Okay. So, yes, as you said. Okay. So, good evening. Any doubt? From the last time, move to some data structure. No, sir, no doubt. All right. So let's start. And the one facing uh, in the software installation. I have done, I have deleted every mystery part and I have. All... So before that, um, uh, so today let's start with some basic statement, basic things you guys already know about it. Or you guys. Most of you has known about this ifs. What is if basically it is used to make a condition, make a logical operation or make a decision. Decision. That is, it say condition statement. Last day I told you about the assignment operator operation. So this is the logical operation. Logical operation is done using the if else statement. So if I draw the flow chart of it, I think you guys know about this flow chart. So a if else statement basically or any logical operation is represented with this diamond or you can say a angular of return value it passed. Basically this is only one type is nothing but boolean. If else always return a Boolean value or always check on the Boolean conditions, either it is true or false, nothing much. So if it is yes, then it will throw the output. If it is no, then it will throw some another output. But this both condition will not work simultaneously. Either this one work will work then this path will discard it and cancel out then if the sound will be used uh, let's check the boolean value always operate on the boolean value okay why i am saying suppose uh let me write on next recording so in python there is in general if else and if i wanted to create a uh, ladder like statement like in python switch case is not supported okay why why switch case is not supported in python that i will tell you i will tell you don't worry but before that let's start with this if else so the syntax is nothing but first group I put a colon here. Here also, not not a semicolon. A colon here. Here also, here also. That represents the identification of the Python. In 
I think the identification is very important. Okay, what is identification? Nothing you can do any curve. Suppose I wanted to uh, write the second bracket after end of this line, then you can do this thing, or you can start with a new beginning line. But in Python, what happened? You have to maintain the identity. Why is that? See that Python did not support the bracket statement or the semicolon, the semicolon statement, right? Because this bracket is uh, the bracket is used nothing but the second bracket I'm talking about the braces. The braces is used to represent a block, nothing but, right? If I do this thing in C programming language, if I do this thing, it is nothing but a block. If it is a method, <coughs> if it is a method. in this statement here so that second the program code locally what is that mean suppose if i declare here i am not talking i am not saying it in python just consider in other program language if i declare any variable here suppose i integer i equal to zero then this boundary of this i the boundary of this i is bounded by this second bracket clear everyone so if outside i wanted to access it if it is in java if i want to access it from the outside then what am i doing through the error right clear team Hello. Okay. Let it stop it now. Just consider any other. What happened? What? Whatever you write here, suppose. I'm ready. you can try this thing in your home. It is i equal to zero. Okay. Now outside of this block, if you want to access it, try it. You will see that it will throw error. What happened? Because this in now it is local variable to the to this if block. Okay, clear. You can try it. So what happened whenever <coughs> we are going to create the second bracket structure, nothing but this basic structure, it basically create a blocks and uh, the access, the accessibility, it prevents a single kind of accessibility. That means suppose you have declared anything inside that block and outside the block, if you want to access it, you are not able to access it. It, it would throw it either. It is uh, more visible to any method block. If it is any method, let me write it down. Suppose this is this side. So that is how One kind of, or one kind of, we, we, we all have to maintain a same kind of identification. What is that? Suppose I'm going to create an addition. So for addition program, I just simply write, okay, uh, let me initialize first. See, 
these four lines are equally identified. That means if I put a space here, then there is single gap. So remember in Python, the gap behind uh, the gap starting of a line represents something. That means if it is under some kind of block, then we we can write we can uh, we can. give a space to them kind of thing in java basically you can do do that there is no need to ident each other. sometimes you have to maintain the alignment but not the identification but in python you have to maintain the identification so like this you can use this single bracket in the initial statement also then what happened if I start it from here in a statement, then it will throw the error. Okay. Now, by the uh, text editor, by the text editor, by default, the identification came. See, let me open the spider. I can show this thing. The last record, let me go to new file. What I am talking about the same thing. no braces in the python so you have to maintain some this is this particular if block or this is the code of this if block code not the out like what i'm saying suppose i'm going to write a if else part okay so um, let it any uh, any i'm just by default i'm writing as a true this would be computer. See, by default, it came with one tab space. Up to that one tab space. Here we can write anything. Just uh, print A, B, C. Okay. That is an, if I run the file, you guys see A, B, C is printed. But if I did not maintain this thing, see. If I run the file, this. see expected and identity block. Bracket is not be used. It so based on your problem is using. You can skip that part. You can x equal to equal to y. And y. As I'm saying that this if else is only checked. So here you can clearly see that 
either x equal to equal to y or not. So basically, what will be the return value of this condition? Nothing but either true or false. So that's a rem. Equals to, and also there are like this and or or not. These are the logical operation, logical iteration. So you can use this thing for fit any kind of logical operation. One of my question is, I think some part. Have you seen this triple equal to? Anyone? Hmm? No. no, sir. This triple equal to basically it is also a comparison operator like this one. Python did not support this thing, but why I'm showing you sometimes you can may face scenario that even when ask you that this triple equal to operator or not. Triple equal to it. Hello. It also check the reference in JavaScript. It's up, but in Python only the double equal to operator is necessary. But remember that part. If it's operation, now you can perform that either the number is always know it how to check it is number order even negative or positive. Okay, that kind of basic operation. Or I will uh, provide you uh, one or two questions. Practice it in your uh, in your spare time. But that sometimes in if else block you will find out that if something is x in some statement. So, so what happened? And remember, if returns which value? But true, no conditional operator is present. Then it will check that there is no conditional operator is present. And by default, the if definitely to have is true. X value is true. So what happened here? Yeah. By default, this statement check So operand means nothing but the variable okay. false. Then what happens? The else part will execute. But this statement you get. So why I show this thing? Suppose in a coding statement, you have to check it is uh, it is true or false. Either this value is true because at the Value is boolean. I think it's work first. Check with this equal to equal to operator. It takes a little bit of time. Suppose let it be the uh, using this equal to equal uh, uh, one millisecond. Okay, I treat okay, but let it be one millisecond. Then what happens if I don't do this by zero point six five zero point nine five millisecond? So what happens? You use this. So that's why this is the one of the key advantage of this Python. Okay, so this is the simplest. Next one.
as the switch so python support a leaf or orange what is a leaf a leaf is nothing but it stands for else if sun and some statement there in in as here to check if else ladder execute now friends between this this if else ladder check switch case but the support switch case Why Python didn't support switches? I will show. So, actually here also it will work as same. If I do this way, right? Like it will also check if this statement then the remaining will not execute either this only execute this only clear. These two block is new. functionality is also the same. Same function, right? Everyone. Now, my question is, in this a leaf statement, right? We can use if letter only. Context using the if. Why I need this elif statement? Right. And is into this cut into that structure. Suppose you do any statement here. Suppose the statement one checking value here also. Or change the statement. This line will get executed. But if this will execute. Oh sorry. One second. If this is going to execute, it will not execute. If this is going to execute, then it will basically. If it is true that if it is yes, then this one execute discarded that line. If it is not executed, it goes to that way, into that line. Think about the no. It will check if it is yes, then definitely it comes here and execute those automatically. But if it is no, then again the control again the controls come here, and then in the final final. If it is checked, either it is uh, this should not be written here because this is uh, correspond for conceptual purpose. 
if the first statement does will not execute then what happened the control comes to the second one here and will not execute then what happened the control will comes here and one executes that means the statement is printed then what happened the control will pass and it will execute it will print the output because if else as i told you that if the yes if part is execute then there is no need for for the false part but what happened first let us basically their individual statement one this one this one individual statement one true value false value no false value is there basically we use only true value this is one true value true value if some condition is there then it will execute and that will true if it is even then so it will get again get executed and same for the third one if the value is that is the difference between this if chain the if clear yeah, everyone so try Let me show you some coding examples. This thing is already know. Uh, suppose if I use this as a for the name. So, so I bracket on us. Suppose I'm checking this. Is this two hundred is greater than thirty? So is this fast braces I may not be not add some certain condition then you can use 